Uh, it's exciting. You know, I, I obviously want to be here. Uh, I've made that very clear that this is where I want to be, and uh, it's home for me. And so I'm excited that I'll be able to sign for a few more years and make sure that um, you know I'm happy and my family's happy. And uh, it's very exciting. Obviously, we didn't finish the way we wanted to, uh, and you can go back six, seven games into the season as well. So we have to make sure that no matter how we start the season, the middle of the season, or even the end of the season, we make sure that playoffs are um, done better. Yeah, it's nice. Look, I think this profession is uh, kind of year by year. Nothing is ever certain, um, but it's it's nice to have a few years to be able to uh, to know that I'm going to be home. Well, what was that in every single game last year? Now going into this year, with the large roster, how does that set your expectations differently, or the same? No one should have different expectations. Um, there's going to be a lot of tournaments throughout the, the, the year, whether it's here or it's international. Um, we start with Champions League, which uh, is a big tournament as well. So we're going to have a lot of guys have a lot of minutes. Uh, I'm hoping that I can contribute as many games as I can. If it's every game, great. If it's half the games, awesome. Uh, as, many, as long as I can contribute to this team, uh, I'm happy to do so. Was this the, uh, in your mind that you were coming? Yes. Oh, good. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> what was the process uh, like this time versus last year as far as resigning? Was there ever any concern? Although it's just the, the process of signing, whether you're uh, one of the first guy on the list or the last guy on the list, uh, it's never easy. Um, it's, 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 always a, it's always a battle, um, but we got the deal done, and I'm happy that I'll be able to be here for a long time. Yeah, when you say battle, what do you mean? That it's, it's just, you know, you have to go through contracts. If you've ever done a contract before, no matter how you work, uh, you have to fight for what you want. They have to fight for what they want, and that's just how it works. Is there any doubt in your mind that you wanted to come back? Not at all. Uh, I knew I wanted to be here. They knew I wanted to be here. Um, I like to make it. I like to think that everyone knew I wanted to be here. Um, so it's not a not a surprise that I'm here. Does that kind of what kind of dynamic does that create at the end of the year, where you know you have your contract decline, your option declined, but it sounds like you both knew where you wanted to end up. Yeah, it's just verbal com uh, communication. You know, it's just, it's just having the um, the communication between myself, between uh, Garth and, and Smetzer, and, and making sure that uh, my agent and myself are on the same page. Yeah, can we go back to the end of last season? Um, it seemed like on the cusp, obviously, of a storybook type of thing. If you make the penalty kick and you guys go on, you know, being the local guy, um, how how did you how fast did you move on from that or what was can you kind of go back to like what you felt then and, and moving on from that moment? I mean it's a very hard moment. I think anyone that's ever had that uh, moment before, whether good or bad, it's it's a, either a really big high or a very big low. Um, and so unfortunately it was the low, and um, it just ended up being that way. Have I gotten over it? No, but that's okay. I think that's a, a positive kind of using the back of my mind to fuel the fire kind of thing. 57 days since it happened right here. I mean, has the off season felt longer, shorter? What, what's been the off season? Well, it's felt very short. Um, we've obviously wanted to get back here, uh, but most most of my off season's coming back to Seattle, see some family, um, see my nieces and nephews, and now I'm already here. So it's, it's trying to figure out where I go, and uh, it's just it, yeah, flew by. As far as you guys and, and goals this season. What do you what, what's kind of I guess laid out there um, for yourself personally and then also for the team beyond just winning? Yeah, of course, winning is is, is the the top battle here. We want to get into as many tournaments and stay in as many tournaments as we can. Um, obviously, that's helped with the depth that we've created in this roster. Uh, but we also know that there's going to be there's going to be injuries. There's going to be guys going away for international duties. Uh, there's going to be swaps in uh, maybe you know mid mid year signings. It's just it happens every year. We just want to make sure that for my goals and I think the team goals is to make sure that I impact every game I can in a positive way. Uh, and the team is to stay in and hopefully win as many tournaments as we can. Last season, you had mentioned um, being a little bit surprised that you played all, you know, every game. I think it was at the midway point when we talked about that. Do you expect that this season that you're definitely going to be plugged in um, as, as many games or as, you know, as, as uh, healthy as you I expect to contribute every time I'm, I'm put into a game yeah, or starting a game. I expect to contribute in a positive way as much as I can. What's your experience with Champions League? Have you, how much have you played it? Uh, I played it when I was in Kansas and we went to the semis. Uh, it was a great, great tournament. Uh, it created a lot of 
uh, you know, you get real fit real fast because you're playing games pretty quickly uh, against good opponents. So it's, it's an exciting tournament. Uh, and if we can play, and like I said, if we can stay in and hopefully get to a final or win, that's amazing. It seems like some of your, I don't know, we'll call extracurriculars maybe play well into, into CONCACAF Champions League. Is that something that you kind of look forward to? Do you relish those sort of opportunities? We go down there for business, that's for sure. I know that we go down there for business. I have plenty of off-season time and uh, retirement time to, to, go, to do my extracurriculars uh, in that fashion. What's it like uh, having so many uh, teammates come back this season? It's exciting. You know, at the end of the year, you always kind of expect to lose four or five guys. Uh, it's just part of the part of the job. It's unfortunate, but you you, you know you expect to lose them. Uh, luckily, this year we haven't lost that many, so it's good to have a lot of the guys back uh, and, and continuing to come back. So it's once everyone is here, I think it's going to be a nice little party on the field. Uh, even though like there's still a bulk that are missing, do you feel that continuity um, this early in, in training camp since there's still even more here? Yeah, there's a bunch of us still here. That first team roster is obviously a little bit slim because a lot of guys are, are gone or are still making their way back via visas and things of that sort. So uh, we're excited that we have the guys that we have here, but the guys we have here are big veterans. So we have we have a good voice and we're sticking together, uh, making sure that these these young kids learn how to, to be that good professional, to work through that preseason. Uh, and this one's a shortened preseason, so they have to make sure to be careful as well.